All right, a while back we did a video about NDI support being added to Skype and how this kind of revolutionizes how you can produce online talk shows and podcasts. Now recently Microsoft Teams and Zoom Rooms have also added NDI support. So I thought we'd do a follow-up to that video and talk about how you can set this up in these two programs and how useful it is to use NDI to produce your talk shows or podcasts. So first up, what is NDI? NDI stands for Network Device Interface. It's developed by NewTek. It's basically a way of sending audio and video signals across a local area network. So basically anything that's connected to a router, through Wi-Fi or even through ethernet cables, you can send video as long as the software hardware is using the NDI protocol. So Xbit can both send and receive NDI signals and the same thing with these different video chat apps, they can output NDI signals for XSplit to pull in. All right, so first up is Microsoft Teams. So in Microsoft Teams, you're gonna go into your settings and your permissions, and you're gonna enable NDI. And then when you're in the call, you're gonna start the NDI broadcast. And the NDI outputs a bunch of different feeds. So you can actually pick from, say the active speakers feed or the individual guest feed or any type of screen sharing that's going on, or even just like these multi-view feeds. You're gonna pull these into XSplit Broadcaster. Now they all have the same audio. So no matter who's talking, you can't isolate one audio channel after another, but it does give you a lot of options to mix around and switch between different things. So that's pretty much how you set it up in Microsoft Teams. So unfortunately, NDI isn't available for free on Zoom calls. You actually need to pay for a Zoom room, but you go to the web portal for the Zoom room and then you enable NDI and then you start the call within the Zoom room. And then you're gonna start your NDI broadcast outputs so this basically lets you send different outputs, kind of like Microsoft Teams. Now, again, the audio is all mixed together, but you can choose what you wanna send. So you can send, say, whoever's the active speaker, or you can send individual speakers, or you can send screen shares. So it actually gives you a choice about how many outputs you wanna send rather than just dumping everything all at once. And again, just like the other NDI features, you can add these in Expert Broadcaster by basically finding the output and adding it as a source. All right, so when you have everything set up in your software choice, like I mentioned before, you're gonna open up Expert Broadcaster, you're gonna add a source, you're gonna add a network source, and you're gonna look for the NDI feed and add that as a source. Now, if you don't see the NDI feeds, make sure that you're on the same network. Make sure you're on the same Wi-Fi network, or make sure that the calling PC isn't on another network or tethered to your phone or something like that. They have to be on the same network. Now, if you're pulling in the feed and you notice it's getting kind of choppy, you can actually lower the quality. NDI actually takes a lot of bandwidth. So if you have a lot of traffic going on, it might be choppy, or if you're using Wi-Fi and far away, try to use the standard quality, see if that helps. And that's pretty much how you route NDI and use it. So hopefully more apps support NDI and add more features, like the ability to separate audio channels. We'll see, but let me know, how do you produce your own talk shows and podcasts? How do you route things? Let me know in the comments, give a like if this was helpful and subscribe for more ways to produce things here in the studio.